This video is about Ripple XRP. This is an update video specifically related to XRP, looking at the current price, looking at what uh, the next support resistance level may be, uh, where we're at right now, what are we going to take to get there, and maybe what do we think long term this thing is going to be, what's XRP going to be trading at uh, once we kind of get past the, the SEC lawsuit scenario like that. Uh, we're going to look at that. We're going to talk a little bit about some information. They um, Ripple has brought in a new board member that may be of interest to you. This is some news that has just come out specifically. I think that this is a really good move to help them in everything related to uh, the SEC uh, scenario. So that's what we're going to talk about. So if that's of interest to you, this is overall XRP update. I pretty much have been doing these every single day. Um, so yeah, so if you are brand new here, consider subscribing, hit that bell notification. I release two or three videos a day about around all cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, Litecoin, XRP, um, Ethereum, you name them. I've been basically bringing you a ton of video. I release five to six plus videos a day in total, working hard for you here. My goal is real simple, is to bring you this information so that you don't have to go out and find it. You don't have to go out and look for it. You can just say, hey, I'm going to go check out Austin's channel, see what he's got for me, for my for the cryptocurrencies that you care about. I've already mentioned it. My name is Austin Hilton. I'm a 30 plus year investor. And my goal is real simple, is to help you make more money uh, in crypto, overall stocks. I got a ton of stock content. I have stock videos that come out every single day, stock advice, stock tips, things of that nature. So I'm here just helping and building a community. That's what I care about. So if you care about that, drop a like, become part of the community. I would greatly appreciate it. Before we get started, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Always got to say that, get that out there. Okay, so let's go take a look and see what is going on with XRP. Right now, it is trading currently at $1.55. It's actually up about 11%. So that's really nice. We got a really nice trend moving forward. Uh, we've been bouncing around the 20-day moving average, but it looks like we're definitely starting to continue to move in the right direction. And we're going to go look at their chart right now over on Yahoo Charts and then go from there. And then I'll show you all the information I've got for you. So here we go. I think you're going to like what I got for you. Here we go. So you can see from the chart here, the red line is the 20-day moving average. The purple line is the 50-day moving average. And so you can see overall, we've been moving right around that 20-day moving average, uh, continuing to kind of bounce that 20-day moving average. Absolutely, it looks like it's starting to offer some support uh, as far as moving forward. Currently trading at, like I mentioned, $1.55, up 15 cents today, and that's 11 0.3%, uh, okay? So overall, I like what I'm seeing. It looks good. We're definitely moving in the right direction. I think that we'll continue to kind of sit in this area and the next support, kind of the next, re not support, I always say that, the next resistance level is kind of that $1.65 range. If we can get above $1.65, I think we can absolutely run up from there and then uh, hit maybe two, even $3 before we really get into the summer. That's what I think could definitely be a potential. You got to realize if you look at the overall uh, market and everything's going on, Ethereum hitting you know 3,400, Bitcoin 57,000. Uh, I mean, you've got a tremendous amount of um, you know uh, power and momentum moving in the overall into the overall cryptocurrency market. You've got Dogecoin out there doing its thing uh, to kind of lift and, and lift the overall profile of cryptocurrencies, you know, with with Mark Cuban going on The Ellen Show, with Elon Musk going on to SNL. I'm not relating that specifically to XRP and in, only in the capacity that, that, that they're talking about Doge, but yes, they are lifting the overall interest and awareness for cryptocurrency in general, right? And so I think that that is something to be taken to, to, to take consideration of, to talk about, and to, that it's part of the discussion, all right? And so I think we, ne we, need, we need to get past the next resistance level of $1.65. And I think from there, the prediction could be anywhere from 2 to $3 um, you know, to, to by the summer, if not if not before, depending upon how things go, do we continue to have a nice positive run like we're absolutely seeing right now in the overall crypto space, Ethereum and Bitcoin doing their things, you know, as, as the market leaders and moving and just kind of blazing the path for for crypto in general, right? I think that that's going to every every other cryptocurrency benefits from how those other cryptos. Uh, continue to do. If you're a golfer, it's kind of like the analogy of Tiger Woods back in the day, a long time ago, when he was the hottest thing in golf. He made more money for all of the other golfers, you know, and, and all they're all famous. They're, they're all on record as talking about that. Phil Mickelson and all those other guys are talk about that. 
If you're like, who the heck is Tiger Woods in golf? I'm sorry, you know, them showing my age being north of 50 plus years old, but my point is still the same, okay? It raises, as long as Ethereum and Bitcoin continue to do their thing and, and we continue to get overall more interest in, in cryptocurrency and mainstream, you know, you got people like PayPal coming out and, and talking about Litecoin being embedded now in PayPal's checkout features. You've got Dogecoin, you know, being used. You're, you're at XRP doing what they do very, very, very well. Uh, it's overall just adding up to this really cool environment. Okay, so Ripple price prediction. Uh, again, we've got resistance at that dollar sixty-six level. I've already mentioned that a couple of times. Um, I've already mentioned this content here before. Uh, this is really talking about the the fact that Ripple unlocked one point six billion worth of coins from its escrow account, and that. Uh, so let's see. To, to um, what that that was a couple of days ago. I think I can't remember the exact date. Yeah, it, this is May fourth. F in a few days after unlocking. Yep, yep, yep. Um, let's see. There's. So I think that this could be the reason that we're seeing what kind of is going on right here a little bit. Oh, by the way, volume is definitely not real high. I mean, obviously, I forgot to mention that earlier. Volume is not huge. Uh, so it's you know kind of a just medium volume, if you will. Okay, price prediction is I think it could be where was this? Let me continue to drop. Uh, I don't think we're gonna. Hopefully, we won't continue to drop. I think we've discovered some 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 uh, a nice level, and that again that dollar sixty six. I still think it's a two to three dollar maybe by the end of, by June, give or take. Let's talk about this piece of information that I was gonna bring you. Ripple appoints a former U.S. treasurer to its board amid legal fight with the SEC. Okay. So they have appointed Rosie Rios, the 43rd treasurer of the U.S., will join its board of directors. Ripple also did hire Christina Campbell, previously an executive at fintech firms Green Dot and Pay Near Me as its CFO. And we know about the SEC scenario. So uh, bringing on uh, Miss Rios here, I think, is a, a really smart move. I think it's, um, it's something that... Bringing her to the board, I think, offers number one. We don't, you know, she's got she's got political connections. She's got she can give them really really good advice uh, related to the lawsuit, things like that. I think that this is a very good political move uh, in their battle with the SEC. Okay, which we've talked about at length, and that's out there. So nothing really, you know, I don't really need to go into that. Uh, so Miss Rio served under Barack Obama. She or she's joining its board. Um, we already talked about Christina Campbell. She's joining as a CFO. Uh, I've dedicated my career to financial inclusion and empowerment. Quote from Miss Rios requires bringing in new and innovative solutions to the processes. Ripple is one of the best examples of how to use cryptocurrency in a substantive and legitimate role to facilitate payments globally. Okay. Again, you already know what. Uh, Ripple, Ripple XRP does. They uh, they use blockchain blockchain technology to send money across borders for banks and other financial institutions, touting its platform as a more efficient alternative to the interbank messaging network SWIFT. But it also uses XRP, a digital asset, to access it as a bridge currency for converting one currency to another in a matter of second. Okay, so uh, obviously Ripple has benefited from surging interest in digital currencies like Bitcoin. I've been talking about that and sells for a tiny fraction of its holdings each month. XRP is now at more than 500% year to date. Okay, they, we, we know about the SEC thing, so I'm not going to go into, in, into any detail or any at length about that. So you know about that. Nothing really new yet around that anyway. Going back to the chart, just looking at it overall, I'm very, very bullish on these guys long term. I think that um, XRP will continue to move forward. Again, we kind of know what that next resistance level is, which is $1.66. I'll continue to bring these videos to you guys every single day as long as you guys like them. I want to want to continue to to get them, so please drop a like. Let me know that you like what I'm doing for you, uh, and then I'm just bringing you this information, this content, so that you know what the latest information is. That's my goal. Um, always protect yourself in any type of a cryptocurrency scenario. Don't use money that you can't afford to lose. Am I saying that XRP is volatile? No, I'm really not saying that. I'm just saying protect yourself. I care about you guys as a community. I would tell you do the same thing with Ethereum or Bitcoin. I mean, protect yourself related to don't invest with money that you really shouldn't be investing with. I mean, don't don't. You know, don't wager the kids' college fund is what I'm saying, right? Don't wager the mortgage or the rent payment. 
uh, invest with money that you can and if you can afford to lose. That, that goes to say with any with any stock investment, right? I mean, um, so just make sure you protect yourself as always. Um, if you put some money into XRP or Litecoin or Ethereum or Doge, um, you know, maybe a good a good rule of thumb as far as cryptocurrency investing is, let's say you put $500 into any of these. Uh, once you, you watch that, once that crypto goes up and you get to where say, you know, you put 500 in, it doubles, you get to, you get to, you have a total of a thousand, pull 500 of it out. And that way you now have gotten your initial investment out, you've protected yourself, and now you've got that, you know, now you're playing with the house's money to use a Vegas analogy. Also, don't don't be afraid to take profits along the way. So if it continues to rise and rise and rise and rise, continue to take profits along the way. I mean, as long as it's open, it's, you know, within your risk threshold, and it's a scenario where, you know, you're comfortable with it, right? That's all I care about. Just want to make sure you're cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you get you get notified. I release a ton of videos every single day. My face itches every time I go on camera. Um, please drop a like on the video if you got any value out of it whatsoever. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. See you down the road. Go make some money. See ya.